Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Jackson, aka Shuddy is a Screamer on YouTube, and today I wanted to do a video about something that's really been bothering me and been really a main key factor in my life right now, and that is... Fakes on Facebook and everywhere else. I have been really affected by this situation for the last week. Oh my god. If you've never had a Facebook before, you know, everybody ain't feeling Facebook, you know. But, you know, because everybody's like converting over to Twitter. But anyway, it's like, you can't control how people are out there. But you can't control, you know, the privacy on your Facebook. And I'm going to give you the one-on-one -on, -one on what to do and what not to do on Facebook. Well, it all started in the ninth grade, and I was just coming from the school called Detroit Merritt Academy, and, you know, all my middle school friends basically went to the school called Heart Academy after me, and, um, you know, everything was going on okay at the beginning of my school year and all that other stuff until something happened. I'm not going to throw everybody's name in it. I'm not going to sit up here and do all this extra stuff. I'm just going to say that I knew some of the wrong people, and those people on Facebook actually got me wrapped up in a whole lot of drama. I lost a lot of friends. I cried. I did a lot of stuff because the way I had the situation turned out, basically, I met people on Facebook, and then it turned into a whole fiasco. Those people did not turn out to be who they said they were. It was drama. It was arguments. It was, it was never fights. No one ever touched me. Um, things come. Whatever is done in dark, it always comes to light. That's all I'm gonna freaking say on that situation. My ninth grade year turned me into the person who I am today. Because the things that occurred, I don't, I can't go into detail because it's like I'll be putting out people' business and stuff like that. But a lot of things happen. And a lot of things changed the way how I think, changed the way I associate myself with, changed the way how I carry myself, and it definitely <laughs> changed the way how I look at things now, especially when I'm on Facebook. But yeah, I <laughs> transferred to Girls Point South, and, um, you know, none of my past came with me or anything. Nobody who went to my old high school was at Girls Point South or anything. Um, I really liked it there. I never... I didn't get associated with those people anymore and everything. And, you know, everything was straight, blah, blah, blah. But the only thing, I guess, is now that I'm more, I'm more, I'm more like, you know, if we're friends on Facebook, we're friends on Facebook. I'm not sitting there saying, oh, well, I hang out with this kid and I hang out with that kid. And I've never seen them before because that's stupid because you don't know who that person can be. And then people will be looking at you like you're stupid if the person turns out to be like a freaking old man that's 50 years old or old lady that sits in her basement and look at pictures of young people. But I think another thing too about Facebook, you, I have a bad habit. I add everybody on Facebook because I feel as if, you know, if somebody does something to me or somebody says something to me that's very unnecessary and uncalled for, I am not scared to block anybody. Like seriously. Even if you live down the street from me, Facebook is when you get on somebody's stuff and it gets kind of personal because a person, they update their status, they, you know, you know what people do on Facebook, they put their information out there. And if you ain't cool with the person and everything, you already know that you and that person go argue first of all, don't add them in the first place or get to them before they get to you and block them. So any no drama will be started at all because, you know. Drama is just stupid. Drama is pointless. So don't sit up here and argue and fight and blah, blah, blah. Just block the person before any type of drama starts. Anyway, another thing that I wanted to talk about was how you can identify a fake profile. It's a lot of ways how you can identify fake profiles, but then, like, the basic ways is if, for one, if somebody adds you on Facebook and they only have one picture, 13 friends, and maybe none of their information filled in. If someone is on Facebook 
and you have probably 3,000 friends and this person only has two mutual friends with you, reject. If you are on Facebook and a dude adds you and you can see that his picture is a picture of John Travolta, a picture of freaking, I don't know, just a picture of a singer or something like that, re Jacked. If a person has all these friends and they have all these edited pictures, if you look hard enough, you can tell if they've cut out something or whatever, or if you know they're trying to hide something from their profile. When they have pictures and they clearly have like, you know, like a dark red bar over where a barcode might be, you know, taking it back to my space, or, like, something over something else, you know, like, oh, Kiki, baby, one, two, nine, two, three, but then behind those words, you can see zero, four, six, nine, three, 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 nine, brie, brie, like, some stuff like that, reject. You need to really watch out who you at, because somebody can be, uh, Sex prosecutor, prosecutor, sex offender, or they can sit up here and really find out where you live. They can get your location because, you know, people really don't think nowadays, well, if I put in I live in this place and this place, I'm not putting my address so they not going to know where I live at. No, it only probably takes a city and a state to find out where you live at because guess what they got? The Internet. They have Google. They have white pages. They have everything that they could probably think of. Even though you cannot probably get somebody's address off the white pages, it's still a point. You, when they get your number, you know, if they've gotten as far as getting your number, they can get as far as getting everything else from you. The Internet does not keep you safe. Don't sit up here. That's like somebody in the witness protection program, you know, sitting up here making a Tumblr and a Twitter and a Facebook or whatever. Like, you just should not put yourself out there like that because you're not going to like like the outcome of it because people are crazy nowadays. The internet is getting worse and worse. And I really do feel as if, you know, some things need to be more private, some things need to be more flagged, some things need to be more legit because, seriously, these girls posting up these naked pictures of themselves, booty all out, and breast all out, that um exposing smuts page on um Facebook, I don't think, you know, these girls, they should, why are they even sending pictures like that to dudes in the first place? But that's a whole nother video. But anyway, it's just kind of like, you know, people are crazy nowadays. And if you want to sit up here and fake like you're somebody or be somebody else, like what's so wrong with just being yourself? God gave you the face, God gave you the body, God gave you the hair, brain, whatever, for a reason. And, you know, if it's bothering you that much, and if you feel as if you need to steal somebody else's identity, then you shouldn't make a Facebook in the first place. Because what you gonna do if you start talking to somebody and the person start liking you and then they wanna see you in person and then they see you and then you just gonna feel worse about yourself anyway because they gonna see that you're not the cute, fine person or whoever picture you didn't stole. You gonna feel more bad about yourself because you said up there not only did you kid yourself, but you kidded the person. You brought feelings into the equation. I personally think if you meet someone off Facebook and you need, or wherever, actually, you need to meet them in a public control type area. And I also think that you guys should maybe webcam or Skype first or do something first to establish that you are who you say you are and he or she is who they say they are. All because homegirls sitting up here taking pictures like this. That don't mean she real. All because she's sitting up here or whoever is sitting up here telling you all these things that you want to hear and you met them on Facebook, you still always need to meet your, you know, you need to keep your morals, you need to keep your standards, and you need to think about yourself before you sit up here and let somebody take you down that path because people are crazy. I don't know how many times I've said this in this video, but it's true. In reality, you shouldn't be meeting nobody off Facebook because Facebook ain't a safe place. It's getting worse as time goes on. Anyway, any anyway, something else I want to talk about is my Facebook profile. 
I don't know if you know any of my YouTubers have been watching my status updates, but my Facebook profile has been reported six times within the last couple of days because apparently my Facebook is an impersonation of myself. Well, gee, Jasmine, what do you mean by that? I tell you what I mean. People are reporting my page as being fake because all these other girls have stolen my pictures. I don't even know why. They've stolen my pictures and started saying that they were me. Therefore, it's about to be some drama. Because, you know, if my Facebook gets deleted, I'm sorry, but I take very, very, you know, I am I know I just got done talking all this stuff, and I know I might seem like I'm contradicting myself, but then I also said at the beginning of this video that I know how to block and delete people and keep myself safe from certain people. Look, it took me almost a year to get 3,000 friends. If my Facebook get deleted, I will be the most pissiest, piss, 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 piss person in the world. So, what I am going to do is give you guys my legit Facebook and my legit Twitter. I know I give it, like, in every single video, but I think I should just give it again. So, you guys will know, you know, like... The legit thing, even though I say in every video, I need to do this because I really don't want my Facebook to get deleted. And I really, I'm trying to make kind of like, I guess you can say, a proof video along with this. So, here we go. My Facebook is Jasmine Valencia. J-A-S-M-I-N-E space. Valencia. V-A-L-E-N-C- I I A. My Twitter is at Shouty. Like Shouty get loose. Shouty. At Shouty a screamer. Okay. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment. If you have anything negative to say, don't even comment. Don't got time for all that. Seriously, if you don't agree with it, I don't care. So, yes, thank you for watching. Bye.